Hi guys, today I'm going to be counting down my top 10 most underrated horror films in my collection. Um, these are like the ones that not many people bring up, don't have a lot of love, and stuff like that. I'm going to go straight into it. And number 10 is the original The Hell of Eyes. See if I can bring that on the front like that. Um, Everybody talks about it when you make, but not so much the original. It's been quite hard to find. It's the Anchor Bay release. Um, the original Anchor Bay horror classics. They're yeah, really good. Number nine is the um, Demons franchise. Well, I've got oh, the only one I've got a Demon 2, but they're both really good. Um, they just like. People like bring up um, The Exorcist and all the other Demon films, but. Not, not many people bring up this one. Um, number eight is Say the Living Dead. This one's quite good. Um, it's not that well known, but it's an hour video release. It's a cult film. Not many people know it. Um, number seven is Salem's Lot. This is really good, like Kurt Barlow. It's really good, and um, it's really good. It's like it's on for um, three hours and four minutes, and it's split up in two discs. It's a really good film, though. Number six is the original Puppet Master. People like to do like retro Puppet Master and um, stuff like that. Um, but the first one, I don't know, not many people like. Well, I like it. It's a good cult film. Number five is um, uh, Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. People like bring up Wes Craven's films like Nightmare on Elm Street, Shocker, Scream, but this one nobody really brings up and it doesn't have a lot of love. So I feel really sorry for it, so that's why I include it in um, number five. Um, number four is um, Pumpkinhead. Not many people know about this one either, so I feel quite sorry for it, so go and watch that one. And number three is in the original Fright Night from 1985. Not many people in, well, in my town have seen this or heard of this, but that's why I included it, because not many people know it. And number two is in The Return of the Living Dead. Really good zombie film. Um, it's in, even said in Google it's a cult film and it's a cult classic so that's why I included it. And here's some honourable mentions is um, Reanimator. Um, Reanimator. The Beast Within. Puppet Master 2 and 3. And Amusement. Number one, she's probably not expecting this, is the original Night of the Demons. Uh, something that I really like about this, it's really good, so definitely check this one out. Yeah, there you go, that was my top 10 most underrated horror films. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.